Welcome to Fairy Tale Picnic put on by the Pinocchio Jubilee Library. Today, our theme is owls. We will start today's programming with reading two stories about owls. First up, we will be reading Owl Babies. This is written by Martin Waddell and it's illustrated by Patrick Benson. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and the things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? their mother owl asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. And that is the end of our first story. Next, we will be reading Little Owl's Night, and this is by Divya Srivinvasan. Little Owl was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. By the river, beavers gnawed at trees. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear! Don't sleep all night! Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon! But the bear kept snoring, as usual. Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly. Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, Little Owl whispered, tell me again how night ends. The moon and stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moonflowers close and morning glories open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold. The rooster crows, the crows caw, and the day begins, said Mama. But Little Owl did not hear. He was fast asleep. The end. For this week's craft, we will be creating a paper plate owl. All supplies needed to create this craft are available in packaged craft packs at the library. So you're going to get three plates. You're going to need to paint these, orange and white paper, and then you're going to want to grab some glue or tape, scissors, and a black marker. So to start with, you're going to grab one paper plate and cut the top off of it. This is creating your owl head. Then grabbing tape or glue, you're going to attach that owl head to one of the other full plates. This will now be your owl body. 
Then using that leftover piece of paper plate, we're just going to cut out two half circles, just like that. And then we're going to grab that white paper, fold it in half, and cut out two circles. We want these circles to be relatively the same size as the brown half circles, so keep that in mind as you're cutting. And then we're going to grab our glue and glue the brown paper plate onto the white circle. Then grabbing our black marker and putting two little dots on there. These are now the owl eyes, so we're going to glue these onto the owl head. And then we are going to grab our orange cardstock and cut out a triangle. This is the owl beak and gluing that on underneath the owl eyes. Next we're going to grab that third paper plate, cut it in half, and then trim it into the shape of an owl wing. Repeating that process with the second half of the paper plate so you have two wings. And then putting those on either side of the body and gluing or taping them on. Just like that. Finally, we're going to grab that orange paper again, and we're going to cut out two owl feet. Once you've cut those out, you're going to grab your taper glue and attach those to the bottom of the owl body. And there you have a paper plate owl. Thanks for tuning in to this week's fairy tale picnic.